Heart Stopper, Volume 1, by Alice Osman. Number 2, Crush, Part 2. Number 2, Crush, Part 2. April, two weeks later. Grim, ga Grammar, 32. Visitors, 36. Chatter, 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 chatter. Charlie's a reserve. Tap, 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 tap. Hey Tal, so about Nick Nelson. What? Has he... has something happened? Well, I think he might l maybe like me back. Explain. Over the past week... past two weeks, during the Easter holidays, we've hung out like almost every day. He's a lot more... I don't know, physical? We hug now. Sometimes I just catch him looking at me. Look, Charlie, I didn't want to say anything, but I, but I've asked around and I've heard Nick's had a crush on a girl like, on a girl called Tara Jones from Higgs School for like three years or something. Pleep? Or peep? Pleep. 39, 36. Charlie! We won! Stand. Aha! Woo! Charlie, I didn't didn't want to tell you this, uh, but I've been I've asked around, uh, and he's got a crush on a girl from his school called Jar called Tara Jones. Blah 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 blah. Thirty minutes later, Christian, say, 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 and Otis, chatter, chatter, chatter. Chatter. You've still got mud on you, on, on, on you. So, Nick has a crush on Charlie, right? We've all been thinking it. They do seem really close. Chatter, chatter. But Nick's not gay, is he? Well, I guess we don't know. He doesn't look gay. And didn't he have a crush on that... On that one... On that girl, Tara Jones? Miss Singh, PE teacher, and coach. You can't tell whether people are gay by what they look like, and gay or straight aren't the only two options. Anyway, it, it's very rude to speculate about people's sexuality. Go home, lads. I kind of see it, Nick and Charlie. Are you going to Harry Green's party on Saturday? Well, I was invited, but I... I don't know. There'll be like 200 people there, right? Please come. I'm... Uh, all my other friends are dickheads, and I don't want... wanna... 
have to spend an entire evening with them. Sounds like you need new friends. Well, I have you now, so... So will you come? Yeah, definitely. You'll be... It, it'll be fun if you're there. Music playing. Chatter, chatter, chatter. You on the list? Um, yeah. Charlie Spring? Happy 16th birthday. Music playing. Charlie spots Nick. <laughs> I've been looking for you. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. It's so loud in here. Do you want to go get a go get a drink? Yeah, sure. Bar. No alcohol. Hey Nick. Why are you hanging out in here? How dull. Say, say, Christian and Harry Green, the birthday boy. I've got some important news. Sigh. What's up, Harry? Tara Jones is here. What? Remember her? The girl you had a crush on all all through y y the, all through year seven and eight. The one you kissed at the year eight Higgs Turim disco. Well, now you're now's your second chance, right, Charlie? That was years ago. I haven't even spoken to spoken to her e since then. Come on, she's just down. Plus, she's really, plus she's really hot now. Hey, girls. Tara, I, I've got someone who wants to see you. You remember Nick Nelson, right? Uh, yeah. Hi. Hi. Chatter, chatter, chatter. Stupid, 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 stupid. I'm such a stupid idiot. Oof. Bump. Gasp. Ben. Charlie? Anyway, sorry about this. Harry sort of dragged me over here. It's fine. I know what he's like. And I think he must be one of the only people who doesn't know I'm gay. Haha. <laughs> you didn't know either. That's my girlfriend over there. So, I heard you've been hanging out with Charlie Spring a lot recently. Is that, I mean, are you just friends or... Well, you can always talk to me about it if you need to. Where did where did he go? Did any of you see where Charlie went? No? Nope. No, sorry. Why do you even hang out with him? We're friends. But why? We just are. But he's just some nerdy little, little year 10. He got really popular after all that bullying shit last year, right? Do you just feel sorry for him because he's gay? 
No, wait. Do you think he's... He fancies you? Oh my god, how sad. Punch him right in the face. You know what, Harry? Fuck you. You're a pathetic, homophobic, self-obsessed dick, and I really dislike you. Happy fucking birthday. I actually love him. Hi. Um, sorry. Your friends were kind of intimidating. intimidating. Don't be sorry. They're all dickheads. I'd rather just hang out with you anyway. So, I just ran into Ben. Shit, are you okay? Yeah, I mean, I dealt with it. He, uh, he tried to apologize, but... Look, I'm sorry, okay? Have you finished sulking about it? Leave me alone. Grab. Oh, come on, Charlie. Slam. Oof. Do not fucking touch me. Then he just walked off, so... Yeah, I think he got the message this time. I'm so proud. Now I'm embarrassed. Shut up. Now I'm embarrassed. Haha. <laughs> it's uh, kind of noisy in here, isn't it? Yeah. Shall we go somewhere quieter again? Okay. I'll race you. To where? Anywhere. Unfair. You're way faster than me. I'm dying. It's because you're old. Huff, huff, huff. I'm only 18 months older. Okay, old man. Function room B. Whoa. Yeah. Jesus. I knew Harry was rich, but this hotel must have cost a fuck ton to hire. Yeah. He should go on that TV show, My Super Sweet Sixteen. Is that the one where... Is that the one where they cry if their parents don't get them the car they want? Yep. Yeah. He'd fit right in. Exhale. So, like, was Harry being serious? Do you like that girl? No. No, definitely not. Definitely not. We we kissed at a party when we were like 13 and I've liked her at the time, but I've honestly barely thought about her since then and I definitely don't like her that way now or that that way anymore. Ah, so, uh, blah, blah, blah. Ah. Okay. Um, so, you don't have a crush on any, 
crush on anyone at the moment? Well, I didn't say that. Uh-huh. What's she like, then? What's she like, then? Okay. You're just gonna assume they're a she. Are they not a girl? Um... Shrug. Would you... Go out with someone who wasn't a girl? I don't know. Maybe. Would you... Kiss someone who wasn't a girl? I... Don't know. Would you kiss me? Yeah. Okay. I... Nick, are you up here? Nick, I know you're up here somewhere. Harry wants to talk to you. Come on, Nick. Why are you hiding? Poor Charlie. I've just... I've got to... Shut. Poor Charlie. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And that is the end of Heartstopper. Heartstopper will continue in Volume 2. Read more of the comic online on heartstoppercomic.tumblr.com tapas.io slash series slash heartstopper and here is the school uniform number one ties Term students in years 7 through 11 wear a plain navy tie. When they get into sixth form, years 12 through 13, they get to wear a stripy tie. Number two, school crest. The school crest is a fairly simple design. T 
for Turum, and two spade symbols. Spades symbols. Number three, jumper. Turum students have the option of a gray jumper or cardigan. Nick prefers to just wear a shirt, while Charlie Charlie likes to wear a jumper or cardigan because he's always cold. Number four, blazer. Troom students have have to wear a blazer unless they're in a in a lesson. Rolling up the sleeves isn't allowed, but lots of students do it anyway. Number five, shoes. Any shoes are allowed, as long as they're smart and black. That means no trainers. Rugby uniform. Number one, colors. The rugby uniform mainly consists of striped uh, navy light blue rugby shirt. Uh, they only wear their uniform for official matches, though. Number two, shorts. The, the team usually just wear their PE shorts for matches. Charlie doesn't enjoy this during the winter. Three, socks. Players are supposed to wear long, navy, sports socks for matches. As you can see, Charlie is yet to get himself a pair. Shoes. Number four, shoes. Nick loves rugby. rugby. So he has his own pair of studded rug rugby boots. Charlie isn't so passionate, passionate about the sport, so he just sticks with a pair of vans. From Charlie. A. Boyfriend. Uh, by Best Coast. Everywhere. Uh, Fleetwood Mackintu. By Western. Uh, what's it gonna be? Shura style. By Taylor Swift. What would you say? The Tin Pigeons. By the Tin Pigeons. Hot. By Avril Lavigne. Uh, Young Adult Fiction, uh, by the pains of being pure at heart. I wanna, or I want to hold your hand by the Beatles, and Sleepover by Haley Kayoko, B. Love, feet to a, a carry, by Kendrick, Kendrick Lamar, a summertime, summer, summertime clothes, by Animal Collective, I want to be your boyfriend, by Discovery, let me, by Zane? Hold on, maybe... Inns? Maybe? Mac Mackins? And then... Move on, there's another one under.
Zachary. Zachary. Yeah, that, that sounds a lot better. So let me, by Zane, 18, by Kahelid, Ka whatever. Uh, it's Alright to Cry, by Francis and the Lights. Uh, Wild by Troy Seven. Uh, Pillow Talk by Zane, again. Into You by Ari Ariana Grande. Anyone Else But You by the Moldy Peaches. Sounds delicious. Saturday, March 20th. Hung out with Charlie all day. He came over and we went out in the snow with Nellie, which was so much fun. Really like hanging out with Charlie. I really like hanging out with Charlie. Like, way more than my other friends. I feel like I can actually just relax and be myself around him. And we still have such a good time and and joke around. I swear, I can't stop smiling when we're hanging out. I know it's weird, but I honestly don't think I've ever liked a friend this much before. I so sort of dread seeing my other friends. Like, they're kind of annoying, and being around them is stressful. But when I'm with Charlie, I don't want the, the, the day to end. Uh, March uh, 20th. March, March 20th. So today was amazing. Nick invited me to uh, invited me around his house to meet his dog Nelly and I ended up hanging out there all afternoon. It started snowing so we went out into the field behind his house with Nelly and we just mucked around in the snow for ages. It was so much fun. But God, my heart can't deal with being around him for that long. There was this one moment when uh, we came inside and I was really wet and cold. So he wrapped me in a blanket. And I swear, I ne nearly melted on the spot. I just, maybe, is scribbled out. Ugh! Sometimes I get the impression he might like me back, but I don't know. Maybe he just really, he's just really friendly. Ugh! Why did I have to fall for a straight boy? Charles Spring. His nickname is Charlie. Uh, he is Nick's friend. Soon to be boyfriend. Uh, he is uh, in year 10. He's 14, age 14. His birthday is on April 27th. He's a male and he is gay. Uh, this is Nicholas Nelson. Nickname is Nick. He is Charlie's boyfriend, going to be. And uh, volume two. Uh, he is in year 11, age 16. His birthday is on September 4th. He is male and he is bisexual. 
This is Tao. Uh, Xu. I don't know. Uh, nickname Tao. Uh, he is Charlie's friend. He is in year 10, age 15. His birthday is on September 23rd. Male and his sexuality is straight. He's straight. Now this is Victoria Spring. Uh, her nickname is Tori. And she is Charlie's sister. He, she's in year 11, age 16. Her birthday is on April 5th. She is female and she does not know what her sexuality is. This is Benjamin Hope. Nickname is Ben. He is Charlie's ex. Uh, he's in year 11. Age 16. His birthday is December 1st. Uh, he is a male. And he is bisexual. This is Tara Jones. Uh, her nickname is Tara. Uh, she is Nick's old crush. Nick's old crush. She is in year 11. Age 15. Her birthday is July 3rd. She is female. And lesbian. This is Harry Green. Uh, he is Nick's classmate. Year 11. Age 16. His birthday is April 17th. Uh, he is male and he is straight. This is Nellie Nelson. She is Nick's dog. She does not go to school. She is 65 in dog years. And... They don't know her birthday, I guess. She's female and... No sexuality, I guess. Author's note. <clears throat> Author's note. Nick and Charlie have been in my heart for a, a very long time. As many of you know, they both first appeared in my debut YA nov novel, Solitaire. Charlie is, is the younger brother of, an, of the narrator, Tori, and Nick is his doting doting a uh, protective boyfriend. Neither of them are particularly major characters, but uh, in the novel age 17 and 15 respectively, uh, they are in a firm, loving, supportive relationship relationship. That's where my desire to tell their story began. How did they uh, get to this point, and where did, where did, where will they uh, go from here? In my spare time during my A levels, I filled an entire sketchbook with my first attempt at telling the backstory of Nick and Charlie. Then I started again, my art slightly better and filled another sketchbook with a second attempt at the comic. I remember spending hours at a time just sitting and drawing in bed, not even listening to music in the background, completely lost and in love with the story of Nick and Charlie. It brought me peace in a way not even writing my novels could. 
in 2016. Age 21 and my art greatly improved. I launched Heartstopper. It started small, but slowly its audience grew and grew. And at, at the time of editing, editing this author at the time of editing this author's note, <clears throat> Heartstopper has over 70,000 followers across Tumblr and to pass. To pass. Uh, people come to the story for all sorts of reasons. For the realistic romance. For the LGBT plus rep. For the art. For the drama. But I think most of, of all people have been drawn to Heartstopper. Heartstopper. Because it brings them comfort. It brings me that too. Alice. From a Nick and Charlie comic she drew in 2013. Thank you very much. Also by Alice Osman. Solitaire. Read the novel Nick and Charlie first appeared in. A pessimistic 16-year-old girl, a teenage speed skater with a penchant, penchant for solving mysteries, and a series of anonymous pranks at school by an online group of gr group who call themselves Solitaire. Alice's debut novel, debut. Novel tells the story of Tori Spring. Radio Silence. Everyone thinks 16-year-old Francis is, is destined for a top university, including herself. But in secret, Francis Francis spends all her free time spends all her free time drawing fan art for a sci-fi podcast, Universe City. And when she discovers that the creator of the podcast lives opposite her, Frances begins to question everything she knew about herself and what she wants from life. What if everything you set yourself up to be was wrong? I was born for this. Angel, a massive fangirl of boy band The Ark, is headed to London to see the Ark live for the first time. Jimmy, frontman of the of the Ark, is struggling to deal with how famous he and his bandmates are becoming. Over one week in August, Angel, Angel and Jimmy's lives begin to intertwine in mysterious ways. And when Angel and Jimmy are unexpectedly unexpectedly thrust together. They will discover just how strange and surprising facing up to re reality can be. By Alice Osman. Here is the back of the book. Boy meets boy. Boy becomes... Boys become friends. And boys fall in love. Heartstopper.